with uh, I fell from grace, aren't we? Uh, as we, as we hope to be. I uh, just need to do one thing. Just needing to. Uh, get my chat screen up. We're going to try uh, and use the Streamlabs version of OBS again. The The reason being that um, it allows me to see the chat more easily. Uh, so if you guys are there, uh, welcome along. And I hope that you'll enjoy me playing a little bit more of I Fell From Grace. Uh, last time we kind of stopped because we weren't entirely sure what we were doing. Um, but this time I think we're ready uh, to get moving again. Uh, not that I've learned an awful lot more but I feel like maybe uh, maybe we can get into it a little better uh, this time because I was getting a little tired I think was the main problem last time um, now the only thing I'm concerned about slightly is that I'm aware when I use the Streamlabs OBS um, I tend to drop frames a little bit more I think because there's a little bit more going on um, but the advantage obviously of this version of OBS is that I can see how many people are watching and I can keep an eye on the chat as well. Uh, so when this game eventually decides uh, that it wants to continue, uh, we'll obviously go a little deeper. Um, the main reason for this is because I was using my uh, phone uh, as a as the method of kind of keeping an eye on the chat, but the battery is not lasting long enough for me to do a stream, so uh, it kind of makes a bit more sense for me to try and use this version anyway. Uh, so yeah, last time um, Henry's wife was brought in as a test subject, which obviously wasn't our intention. But now that we've done it, we really don't have any other options. Um, and we weren't really entirely sure where we were going from there. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of exploration. I can't go into Harris's office, he won't let me in there. And I don't think the janitor is going to have anything of much use. Uh, we can turn off the fuse boxes, but I haven't really worked out where we're going to be able to use that yet. Uh, I guess there'll be some kind of reason for it at some point, but right now uh, it doesn't kind of stand out uh, for me. So we're going to have a look at the other floors. Yeah, I can't go where I'm already at, obviously. Uh, so let's go to the basement first. And uh, we'll take a quick look around. Because uh, I feel like what I really need to do... Well, in fact, I was here last time. Uh, back that way, there's just some gas canisters. There's nothing we can really use. Uh, again, there's a reactor chamber. I think we can probably do something with this reactor at some point. But right now, there's nothing to interact with there. So that's this floor, nothing else over there. Uh, so we'll go up to the second floor, we'll take a walk around. Basically I'm going to do a bit of an exhaustive search. I can't obviously go anywhere that way uh, because I'll get electrocuted. So let's see if there's anything in any of the bathrooms. He doesn't want to use the bathroom at all. Maybe the uh, maybe the ladies' bathrooms will be uh, cleaner, and there's nobody in them, so because nobody comes here apparently, they'd rather use the bathrooms in the new block that Henry's not allowed to have an office in yet. So let's see who we can talk to, see what we can find out. I doubt we can do anything with these PR statements and political spin. Just what you don't need. Uh, had such ambitions, pl ambitious plans, not ambitions plans, of making a video computer game. Is that what you call them these days? But then I looked up what it takes to actually make one, and all of a sudden the motivation disappeared in a hurry. I guess I'm stuck doing this forever, all day long. I mean, you could make a different choice. I'm pretty sure you're not stuck there, unless you've been glued to that chair, have you? I don't know, the way some of the people in this company seem to behave, there's a good chance... <laughs> that uh, they might be. Uh, so there's a bake sale next week at the bar downtown organised by our office social club. Seems like an odd place for a bake sale. It does. But, you know, I can think of worse places. There's a telescope there. Oh, I bet you that's... That's what that... Uh, what that tripod outside's for. Yeah, because he says it needs a tripod. 
I will be having that. And I guess we'll go and see if that offers me some kind of uh, assistance with something. We can't use these. It's uh, photography chemicals, so... Goody goody, show me what you got. Did you manage to capture something naughty? Sorry, didn't see a thing. Get out! Did HR set you up to this? I know my rights. Well, if HR had set me up with that, you wouldn't be sitting there anymore, would you? You'd have been fired. This door's locked. I wonder what secrets are hidden behind it. We'll never know. Or maybe we'll find out at some point. But right now, we don't know. Now let's make sure we don't get electrocuted. And we'll head up to the third floor, which is the only other floor we can go to from here. Uh, says here this wing's restricted access. Restricted access. It's got a little warning triangle and everything. But I, am, I now have a level 3 access. So, should I hope be okay. Anything in here? No. Basically, I think what we need to do is just kind of look through everywhere and uh, see if we can find where we're going. This this bathroom's actually in fairly decent order. I mean, it's still dirty and it's got one broken mirror, but compared to the others, it's in pretty good order. Office 304. Plant looks plastic, mostly because it's not real. Used to do quality assurance at these desks. That was when they adhered to industry regulations. And there's a lot of old reports with failed drug trials. Like the one, <laughs> the drug that we created is going to become very quickly. When they realise that it creates like dreams that make people want to. I'm not nimble enough to enter here without breaking police tape. Why are the printers in this place never working? I'm trying to print out important paperwork that needed to be submitted yesterday. Yeah, well, it wasn't, obviously. Uh, we've got a shopping cart there. Someone needs to spring clean. Yes, they do. Uh, some sort of chemical. In a vat. I don't know what it is. Uh, okay, so there's actually nothing in the old building, really, at all, by the look of things. So, okay, we've exhausted the possibilities in the old building. So let's go back to the first floor, go out, and we'll maybe try the... New building, I guess. I tried there, there was nothing. Office 102 has this person in it. Her exciting job fell through. She was allowed to come back with reduced pay. Why, why if you really didn't want to work there, would you come back? Just find a different job. That's not that one. What are they talking about this time? All other research has been put on hold for now. Effective immediately. We're on something so big we stand to make billions. Well, definitely sounds way good, too good to be true. We'll be able to cure everything from cancer to the common cold. Well, for those that can afford to pay for it at least. People are willing to pay a pretty penny to not be dead. That much I know. I did read this one before. That guy's not very happy about that. Your attitude in life is unbelievable. How can you be so heartless and greedy? Because he can. Office 101. There's nothing of any real interest in here. Oh, wait. I wonder. We got that tripod, the telescope, didn't we? And that was on the tripod. And there's some exposed pipes there. Can we do anything with them? They rumble and creak when someone turns on a tap. Well, yeah, that seems to be a pretty common thread for this place. So let's try going out. And using this tripod with the uh, telescope. See if somehow there's something interesting to see with the telescope. And knowing my luck, we'll get there and there's no tripod. The tripod's still there, so that's fine. Let's try it, see what happens. I placed the telescope on the tripod. Let's look through it and see what there is to see. Or what it is someone was using it for. There's nothing. It's someone's office, I mean, I guess that, but obviously it doesn't tell us whose office it is. Oh. Something shiny, take it. It's another one of these keys, isn't it? The sixth key of the apocalypse. That's what we want. Right. 
So now we'll go back to the main building and we'll see what we can do from there. Because as I say, this building, we've done everything that could be done and it's not really got us anywhere. So okay, this is the ground floor, the first floor if you prefer. This is the IT room where I've already uh, crudely hacked the... Um, shouldn't be in here. But there's no one else in here, so we're okay. We can go just about everywhere in the building now. There's a couple of other places we can't go to. Oh, who are these guys? My manager just barged in here a while ago and told me I'm fired. I can't say I'm surprised. I haven't left this bathroom since my first day on the job. I think I'll just go home and continue my family legacy instead. You do that. Why are you still here? I mean, it's all well and good saying something like that, but then you've just stayed here, so... Fire escape is alarmed. I don't know why it's inanimate. Surely it has no way of being alarmed. Yeah, I know. Uh, unless you take us to the ballet, I'm not interested. And that's that guy on his last interview. Okay, so, next floor. Is the second floor. Um... We need to... Oh! They did suggest that talking to the woman at the, um... At the cafeteria might be worth... Or the canteen, if you prefer. You know, some workplaces offer the staff free food. I'd bring it up with management, but what's the point in a company like this? I was nearly mugged or murdered on my way to work this morning. I don't know which. Maybe both. Some junkie jumped in front of my car and went berserk. I don't know why you insist on driving through the downtown area anyway. Just take the highway and bypass it all. Does this food look like it's got off to you? This doesn't, this doesn't taste right to me. Of course it does. It always does. The food served up in here is awful. I'll say. It's people. Go away or you'll be real sorry. I have no business in the kitchen. Yeah, and you really don't want to be in there in the first place. You might get chopped up. And that's not what we want. I uh, don't recognise any of the brands. Cheap knockoffs, apparently. And there's this guy. They're struggling to keep the toxic mould downtown under control. Some are proposing hosing down the sewers with a bunch of bleach. A bunch? I mean, they could use a bottle. These uh, are exclusively for gym members. Excuse me. What do you want? Can't you see him in the zone? Can't stop for chit-chat. He's not going to talk to me, you see. Dumbbells. Uh, we can try not to skip leg day. Uh, he doesn't care. There's some showers. It's uh, co-ed showers, apparently, or communal showers, if you prefer. She's got... They've got nothing to say. They're just looking at each other. I was up all night. Phone kept ringing, so I couldn't fall asleep. There was nothing on the other end. Just creepy sound and breathing. Same happened to me last night. Uh-oh. This is to do with us giving that medication, isn't it? Isn't that how it started for John? First these calls, then not long after his dismembered head turns up. What, his dismembered head turned up in his house and he was surprised? I mean, I, I don't I don't really understand what you're trying to say there, guys. Anyway, there's, there's not much to learn there. Other than that the showers are obviously shared. Does this guy talk to anyone? I see him coming out of the elevator a lot, but no, you can't talk to him. Uh, janitor. I start to buy a lottery ticket once a week. Can't harm, right? Well, you know, if you're just buying one, I suppose it can't do too much harm. Folders. And nothing. So this floor is looking like a bit of a bust at the moment. Janitorial storage. No. Nope. No, he just says the same thing. Trash cans. They need to be emptied. Oh, this, yeah, this was where we did the, um, where we listened to the song, wasn't it? Which turned out to be a lunatic, um, hacking a guy to pieces. Which, you know, I think if you find that kind of thing happening in your workplace, you probably need to be looking for another job, to be honest. He always uses Elevator 3 and he never seems to get stuck. Right, third floor, we're allowed to go there now. So let's take a look around and see what we can find here. This is animal holding, etc. 
books belong to the company book club. Office 301 is this person. Looks busy. My project's been cancelled. Some other mystery project's getting all the funding. Yeah, that might be my fault. Don't touch those. Yeah, your anti-inflammatory is probably not going to be necessary. Once uh, something that can cure every illness known to man comes out. But, you know, maybe you could create some kind of antidepressant. Something to know, stop people dreaming, maybe. Broken PC and blood analysis machine. Some the right. I'm gonna take these and I'm probably gonna get fired, but we'll find out. Maybe nobody'll know this. Maybe nobody'll know who took them, but there is a camera there. HR. Some lady up and quit her job yesterday and then came crawling back earlier this morning and said to make an example out of her. So I let her back with reduced pay. Yeah, that wasn't very nice of you, really. The armchairs look nice. But don't sit down. Books on internal processes and employment law. Boring books, in other words. Well, if you're not into that kind of thing. Uh, shelf. Nasty chemicals. So they come up with novel new drugs. And it feels bad for the little critters. But you used them anyway. To test this weird medication. Nothing appealing in the vending machine. Green flavoured nachos, eh? Green isn't a flavour, guys. Heard we're on the cusp, cusp of something truly great. Some potential of changing the course of human history. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Although I think it's also quite dangerous. So that's Janet, I got to say. I only took this job to compliment my meagre pension. We saw that one actually before, I think. Uh, flammable gas in use. Anti-static clothing mandatory. In the event of leaking, it could explode. Handling this stuff seems risky. Yeah, etc. etc. Smug looking worker. Some hotshot wannabe swept in and cancelled every other project. All my highly prestigious work has been scrapped. When I find out who this is, we're going to have a throwdown. Obviously, my genius is not appreci appreciated around here. So I'll just take my research and go somewhere that appreciates the molecular art I'm creating. Do we really want to take that? Unless you want me to pop you in the mouth, don't take the gas canister. Well, I mean, I'd rather you didn't pop me in the mouth, so. But I feel like that's going to be something useful. Because I got a little chime there to tell me that uh, at some point, I guess, uh, that's going to be something we need to do. But at the moment, we need to get rid of that person in order to do it. Uh, let's go up to the fourth floor. Uh, and then if we can't find anything there, we can either go home, go downtown. Uh, this is the machine room. Well, you could uh, probably stop stuff working. But I don't have any way. Unless... Didn't think so. Uh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's all the elevators. There's nothing we can do with them right now either. I feel like the, I find the best way sometimes to deal with these sorts of games and these sorts of issues is to um, kind of walk around, I suppose, until you reports from the fiscal year where he blames everyone else. Books on Cambodian photography. Is that photography? Yeah, you can't actually talk to the manager. You can just look at his desk. Rumor has it that the receptionist is a bit of a cokehead. I wouldn't bring it up with her, though. Or she'll tell you to screw off. That can't be true. She seems like a sweet young lady. Well, I can tell you that it is true. The notice board's some interesting news. They finally opened the medical trial patient ward. That door's locked. Don't know what's in there. But not something we can get access to anyway. Uh, I don't need to go out the window anymore because I have a, a key card that will let me go there. Uh, 406 is has an incubator in it. I don't have anything I can incubate there.
Okay, so see, we're allowed in there now, so it's not so bad. What's this warning sign? We can't read it. But it's all exotic chemicals that we don't know anything about. Uh, that's the blood analysis machine we used. And there's a clean desk. The desks seem totally unused. Maybe they're not allowed to use them. So we'll go in here. Um, because it's the only other place in the building we haven't come back to. Does she have a cat on there or something? But we can't actually go in and speak to her. So, okay, it's definitely not anywhere there. I think we'll try and, we'll try and go to the, their home first. See if there's anything we can pick up. Uh, also, we should probably check the, um, the post box. Because... First of all, we didn't look to see if her magazine subscription had come in. Which, you know, really, all things considered right now, probably is the least of our worries. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure that this is going to work as a... I don't think this this version of OBS is going to work, to be quite honest, for, st for streaming right now. Uh, the main reason being because it is dropping quite a lot of frames. Uh, I will update my internet connection at some point soon. But right now I, I can't. So let's go to their home first. I hope I don't get some random, uh, some random vision where I'm not allowed to go anywhere until he's slept. But you have to do certain things, I think, before you can progress the, the game anyway. It seems like. I mean, it's not an entirely linear story. There are different ways you can do everything. Uh, but yeah. Uh, let me know as well if, if things are breaking up on the screen badly, um, because I feel like, well, I feel like that is happening, so. New and unused landscaping tools. Right, I don't even know if I can go in the front door. Nothing in the mailbox. One sec. Maybe there'll be a severed head in the fridge. No, no such luck. Nobody to phone. And nothing out in the garden. Yeah, I mean, basically what we're going to have to do here is kind of exhaust all the possibilities. So yeah, I don't want to go to sleep just now. But we might have to. I mean, that might be the next thing we do. Fired medication and a small syringe. So nothing there. In the study. That's where he keeps all his scientific reference papers. He's, he's still talking about how he's apparently going to get rewards for his work. The thing is, you're not. Because someone else has taken advantage of you. You know, they've taken your discovery, your discovery, the discovery that you're claiming as your own, as their own, haven't they? Um, I'm going to go just here. Yeah, I can't go to her house, so that's fine. So yeah, we'll try downtown. I feel like that's the only potential place that we might be uh, able to do anything. We'll look everywhere. I realise I've spent 25 minutes walking around every location in this game, and so far we've found nothing. If, if obviously I get a little bit further, if I find that I'm at a stage where I'm in a complete deadlock, and I have looked for a guide, and none of the guides I can see are actually any help at all. 
uh, someone I think someone made one themselves, but I'm not sure it covers all the bases and all the potential permutations of gameplay that I've uh, that I've gone into. Uh, so what we'll do is we will go to this pharmacy first. I don't think there's anything we need in there, but we'll we'll have a look. Let's ask all the questions. I love the vibe we've got going in here now. It doesn't stink a dead cat anymore. Thanks, we got a whole new decor. Apart from the franchise fees, I haven't any complaints. What do you think of the police strike? Uh, it's the lack of cops that keep these hooligans loitering on the streets. They should be thankful they have a job and clean up this town. Are the homeless people driving business away? They might be driving some custom from my store, but they're also the ones that are buying the most. They're always in here getting cough syrup and the like. So I have to admit, I don't really mind them. Yeah, you're selling them cough syrup that they're using as drugs, by the way. Are you still on that blood pressure medication? I was sure if you didn't learn to relax just a bit, it would soon have, attend have to attend your funeral. I'm still popping those on a daily basis. They've had to double my dosage. They're saying all the stress is giving my heart trouble. Time for me to vamoose. Yeah, so there's nothing really to do there. Um, medications. And the like. Uh, this guy, keep on moving, there are cops nearby, we've got an alley here, what's in the alley? Is that a dead person? Just homeless. Don't sleep on the ground, not in often, often this alley was dangerous. What do you want? I know I'm a good looking, but if you're looking, yeah. How'd you end up sleeping rough? Uh, you'd like to get me into a halfway house. She has supernatural powers. Only an alien would expect the homeless to be... What planet am I from? I'm an alien now. Do I really look like I work for the government? You're undercover. I'll, I'll discover all your secrets. I'm not an alien. I'm pretty sure you already know that. It's of course, unless you're as crazy as you look. Look at this rubbish outfit. Only a human would dress this badly. Ah, that's just what they want me to think. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, so my tie is protecting me from the dark forces. That's good to know. Which dark forces exactly? I can't explain how or why, because if I do, our fates will most certainly derail. Well, I'm going, so you enjoy yourself. Dark chapter, an occult bookstore. Wonder. Welcome, weary traveller, to what do I owe this pleasure? Are you here on dark business? Or are you seeking your own place here in the universe? Never seen this place before. I only happen to stumble upon it now. We opened years ago to support the growing witchcraft scene, but for a while now business has been in steady decline. Oh, I'm guessing that scene stopped growing then. What are you selling? What are you buying? We sell many omens and exotic foreign trinkets, anything to make a spell or complete cursed rituals. Can you recommend a book for someone like me? Perhaps one that will make me fly. If you come here to make fun of me, you best leave this establishment forthwith. Or perhaps you'd like to leave here under an evil curse. I was only kidding. Mm. He's a bit uptight, isn't he? Yes, very well. All trespasses are forgiven now. You shall go forth without damnation. Good. Good, I'm glad. So where are you from originally? I don't recognize your accent. Where I come from is neither here nor there. I've laid my head to rest in many places. Uh -huh. I've traveled the weary road for countless times unknown, and I have seen through an eternity where shadows are born. Have you? Okay. If you say so, mate. Oh, now we got it. It's a Louisiana accent you've got. <laughs> Well, yes, if you want to split hairs, that's where I'm from. Are you pleased with yourself, detective? It's time I hit the road. Yeah, he's got nothing of interest for me. Well, yet, anyway. I mean, potentially, I suppose. See if this if this shop just disappears now as I walk away. That would be interesting, actually, to be fair. That would actually be quite interesting. Right, I can't talk to any of those people. There's an abandoned store closed for a long time. And a homeless lady... My body aches and my mind's tired. I'm sick of this dreary life, she says. She's of no use to us right now. 
So we've spoken to everyone at this end of town. There's a liquor store there. I don't know that I want to buy any liquor. Feel great, then quickly unwell. Weather looks better today than the forecast for the week. Maybe it's a sign that things are starting to get better. I doubt much will change for the better in this place. I'm not sure why you're even hanging around here out of your own free will. You must be hard-headed. How are things outside work? Surely there's more to you than being a shop attendant. Hey, Bob, I don't know you that well. I don't have any stories to share with you. No problem, I understand. My life isn't exactly perfect either. My wife's dying. She don't have much time left. Well, that's not true anymore, is it? Sorry to hear that. Seems everyone here has a sad story to tell. Time for me to hit the road and get back home. Well, not right at this moment, but... Is this bar? Maybe this place was always shit. And we just didn't notice. We were young back then. Maybe we had more grit. He says because he's drunk, you understand. Don't doubt yourselves. It's definitely got worse. I don't think I should do that kind of voice again. Uh, glass is the furthest from clean you can get. So you're dirt, they're dirty then. Glass of bourbon, please. Make it a strong one. Coming right up. These are as strong as you get. Too many of these and you feel that you're at sea. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's bourbon, isn't it? How much stronger does it get? How's business? Everyone here seems to be pretty dazed. Well, that means that they're, uh, well, that means they're all strung out from the drugs, apparently. Uh, this neighbourhood's done gone to hell in a handbasket ever since them hobo disappearance and that there god-awful smell. Hobo disappearance? I've never heard of it before. Sounds like an urban legend you tell about around a campfire late at night. In the end, nothing was ever proven, but if you ask the locals, their minds are made up. The stew served up in that cafe was made from the flesh of the homeless population. Is that Doris's cafe by any chance? That their smell drove businesses from the area and drug pushers took their place. Shoppers started avoiding this neighbourhood. I felt like it all went down overnight. Seems like the only place doing good business around here. Sounds about right, buddy. I offer a cheap escape from that there reality. People can't afford the liquor next door, but I'm practically giving it away. When there's no work to be found, you can't afford the bills. You can either have an honest drink or shoot up poison to forget about your troubles. The good people in this here establishment have decided to support local enterprise. Others are choosing to support criminals by buying dangerous drugs. Technically, that might be local enterprise too, though, you know? How come this place is just called Bar? Ah, we're entering into a, a situation where, obviously in, in games, they, they just um, put the sign Bar as a generic sign. He's decided that uh, that's actually the name of the bar. <laughs> He's got nothing to say. Fancy marketing isn't needed around these parts. You win hearts with honesty. Uh, if you're being honest, it's a bar. People around here are honest to God, blue collar folks, salt of the earth, at least until the drug epidemic took hold. Have you thought about serving food? I can't believe you're asking this question. It might prove to be an extra revenue source for this place. You could even use the homeless people. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, what a fantastic idea. I can hire staff to serve food and pitch in. I'll just knock down this wall and build a kitchen from scratch. The bank will love to lend the business in this area some money. I have no credit history. Are you going to be my co-signer? Uh, no. No, I'm not. Never mind. It was just a thought. You ain't as tough as you think you are. Okay. There's a bored drunk. Done talking, leave me be. Sleeping drunk, he's not going to say anything to us. Bar fight. Doesn't seem smart to get involved with that. No, they look like they're getting on pretty well themselves. Food prices haven't changed in years. People only seem interested in cheap booze and there's no food. Not looking for a date, buddy. Well, neither am I. Bathroom. That bath. That uh, sink's got... Uh, mold growing on it stench is vile as you'd expect oh wait was there anything in that trash can can we so what i'm going to do as i go along the street as well i remember there's a there's an apartment building we'll go there last because there's obviously a lot of places we can go inside there um but i feel like all i can do now is just kind of walk and maybe all he has to do is go home you know dodgy looking rust heap We have keys. Oh, that's no use. That's Doris's cafe, you see. I'm pretty sure that she's the Doris we, we're thinking of. Who works in the uh, canteen at his workplace. Fresh fruit and veg. Quick snacks. 
some energy drinks, sodas and coffee. And some re... What did that say? The shelf some rest with eggs, milk and soda scattered all over. It says a refrigerated with an eye. Oh well, I suppose it could be worse. Got any sales on? We're looking for a penny pinching bargain. Is there anything I can get? A steal. Sandwiches are starting to go bad, so they're on sale. What can you do for fun around town? Uh, probably drugs or drinking. Must be something to do after sundown. Let's see, there's actually quite a bit to do. There's a hooker if you want something quick. No. A lot of people are into heavy drugs, so there's that. The library stays open past ten if you're a bookworm. Well, we could we could check out the library, I suppose. Do you have a lot of problem with theft? They always talk about the rising crime rates, or is it the media whipping up hysteria? This place has gotten rough over the years. I've had to run home many times. I've had a gun pointed at me so many times that I've lost count. But now that business is so slow around here, it doesn't happen as frequently anymore. You look pretty tired, uptight, and tense. You feeling okay? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a lot on my mind, and those kinds of comments could be seen as pretty rude, you know. Better get a move on before the day's over. Yeah, plus you've just made her seem, made her feel pretty uh, worried. Uh, this is the video rental store. We did go in there briefly. Um, I feel like that hazmat suit something that's going to be important at some point. If I may ask, how's your home life? It's all right, I guess. It's just my mum isn't in the best state for parenting. No? Fair enough. What's wrong with your mother? I've already said too much. You seem young. Had to guess, I'd say you're barely a teen. Why do you work so hard? You're always in here behind the counter. My mum has trouble paying the bills. I'm stuck here and she's selling drugs. Sorry to hear that. She would rather be with friends doing something cool. Thanks. I know my life's not exactly ideal, but at least it can't get any worse, right? Well, I mean, it could. That punk on the street's strange. Any idea what he's up to? I've seen him pacing the street outside this place. He's always got a mean look. Have you seen the pharmacy rebranded? I guess he's hoping to stay competitive. There's nothing to compete with. He's the only pharmacy around. There aren't enough shoppers, though. Best get going. The wind's howling. Yeah, I think at some point we're going to have to try and get that hazmat suit off him. Yeah, that's the apartment building. There's that crying woman. Why are you crying? You seem inconsolable. She didn't want to talk to us last time. Yeah, she won't talk to us. There's a psychotherapy office. Oh, there's a Newton's Cradle there. That's pretty tacky these days. Henry, pick up your feet and tell me your worries. I'm only trying to help you. I'm all ears. What's on your mind today? First date. We set up a blind date for mutual friends. It all seemed like fate. We had lunch in a diner. Oh, we're going to have some flashbacks here by the look of things. Doesn't hurt to do that, does it? I can't believe I'm on my first ever blind date. I thought of it as something I used to despise. It's my first blind date too, so we're in the same boat. Oh, I have to say I'm having a good time. Me too, I think we're really hit, hitting it off. I hope you don't mind I have a bit of a cold. Not at all, I'm hoping to work in medical science. After all, this is the last year of my master's. Wow, Mr. Scientist, that's pretty impressive. I'm more of an artsy type, somewhat of a poetry buff. When it comes to science, I'm as dumb as they get. I'm studying for an art degree to become a poetess. I have to admit, I don't know much about art, but you know what they say, opposites attract. Not entirely true. Well, not always true. And boy, did opposites attract. It was a whirlwind romance. Everything was perfect in the beginning. The locket. She was so excited to give me this special gift that I completely skipped the bit of conversation. Happy anniversary, Henry. I got you a present. Huh? Oh, yeah. Happy anniversary. Have you seen my books? I can't find anything here. Do you want to know what I got you, honey? I'm running late for my exams. You can give it to me tonight instead. If I ever want to be something great or I need to taste this test. It'll only take a second. Come on, this means a lot to me. Then you can go off to your exams and I'll leave you alone. Oh, fine. What is it you want to show me? There's nothing to be so grumpy, is there? A locket with a picture of the two of us. Kissing. This locket's a family heirloom. It belonged to my grandmother. I want you to wear it. It's very nice for you. So I have to get going. The weather's turning and it might start to snow any minute. And he runs away. Didn't you get anything to me? I guess you're too busy getting your master's. Yeah, he's not exactly the best uh, husband, is he? I'm a little confused as to why she's... I didn't even like it, though. It was un, thought it was unsightly, but it meant so much to her that I still wore it. I, in our own apartment, while both attending college, is an expensive way to live. Something had to give with the bills stacking up so quickly. It's a pretty rough-looking place. So don't be for a short while, Grace. You'll be back in college before you know it. Once I get my degree and become a big shot, we'll be able to afford your education, too. My father's best friend sure to give me a position in his office. I just need this degree so I can finally realise my dream. 
What about her dream? I'm sure to make a lot of money and then you can return to school too. I don't think she likes that, to be honest. Okay then, Henry, you can do it. I believe in you. I'll give up school until you realise your dreams. I can work on my poetry in my spare time at home. I'm working on this lovely poetry series on Venice. You know, I don't think you need to go to art school to learn how to be a poet, but... That's great, honey. i got to run to class. I'm late again. Since you're no longer in school, maybe you can clean this place. Nice. Nice guy. Henry, I'll be the maid. This trade seems unfair. Yeah, because it was. Grace never did return to finish her education. My job doesn't even pay enough to afford a holiday. That's all we have time for today. Come again soon. I might. Sorry, that's all we have time for today. We've got some trophies from junior high school that says, at least you tried. At least you tried. So yeah, before we go anywhere else, no loose change, it's been picked clean. Like that car. Oop, nothing worthwhile in there. Why can I see the street light? We'll go in the park. There's not much to see in the park, but we'll go anyway. Seesaw, some springers. Wouldn't trust them as playground right. What the hell is that? That's the door all these keys are for. I don't really know if I should do this. I've got to find three more keys. You know, I've got that those night vision goggles, and I'm not even entirely sure that there's any reason to have them. But okay, we've, we've put three of the keys in that door. Um, and I, I don't know if opening that door is a good idea. Some weather we're having. No end to the rain. It's impossible to stay warm. I lost my darling Sarah to this awful weather. She just lost her... Just last week, her feet had started rotting and she was too weak to fight. There's nobody left in this town that cares about their fellow humans apart from that local old lady, Beth. She even helped me get off the heroin. Why don't we go somewhere else? Bus drivers are assholes. They won't let us get on. We can't look, walk very far with wet feet. Well, you walk as far as you can and then you sit down. This is where we die and it won't be long. Hmm... You seem nervous. Are you afraid of getting attacked? Keep an eye out for Detective Mills. If we see him, we'll start running for cover. The man has no heart at all. He treats us as scum. Well, he himself stinks of cheap booze. You know, once I once knew him when he was younger, back in the day. He was actually a nice guy. Couldn't cope with seeing the town go to hell. Yeah. Everyone around here hates the sight of him by now, and no one would miss him if he turned up dead. How did you end up on the streets? Sorry. Runny nose. Our stories are the exact same. We both worked in the steel mills. It was a much better time for us. It wasn't a luxurious life, but at least we had roofs over our heads, tracks to drive to work in, and a hot meal to look forward to at the end of the day. Then one day that big farmer research crowd rolled into town. They bought the mills and shut them down just to get the land. Demolished it all and built the skyscrapers as a financial centre. With no other skills, we'd probably be better off dead. Almost half the town lost their jobs the same way. It didn't take long for the drugs and crime to grab hold. So tell me about Beth. She seems nice. Beth really cares, and her kindness is genuine. She's the only reason we're still going at all. She don't like the locals for being so cold-hearted and cruel. Without her, we'd have died a long time ago. She comes out at night to give us food in a sympathetic ear. Her son apparently doesn't approve. Apparently, he's just like the others. They feel we should all die off to make the streets cleaner. Best get going. Looks like it'll start snowing in a minute. Guys out for the count. Library. Anything we can do in the library? Shh. What a beautiful building this. You're lucky to work here. Be lucky if it's still standing in spring. Isn't the city going to repair it? They were going to do it, but the city went bankrupt. A group of locals are trying to raise money, but the group leaders admitted it'll most likely never reach its goal. If you take donations for the fund right here, it'd be a real shame if it was to be... Yeah. How much did the locals manage to raise? So far, they've raised 20 bucks. I'll contribute a buck. Because... Here's a depressing fact for you. This donation's the largest single one to date. How many people are around today? People can't afford to pay the bills. They don't want to go to the library. I don't know why. They're all uh, strung out on drink or meth. Not interested in reading books. And the people that come in are mostly homeless or drunk people. 
You're worried about your job? Every day I worry for what the future will hold. If I lost my job, I would never be able to retire. Libraries will always be needed. Kind of you to reassure me, but there's no stuff in technology. Libraries will be a thing of the past. How do I borrow a book from my library? the library? Uh, have you heard of a local named Beth? She always has lovely stories to tell. She's one of the regulars, few regulars here. Guess I'll leave you to it. I'm running late. So she reads to local children. Break room. I can go in the break room, even though I'm probably not supposed to. Guide for the staff on how to apply for welfare. Well, that's depressing. Isn't that? That's, that's, that's depressing. Each tick is amplified by a louder talk. That's generally how clocks work. But there's obviously somebody that is in that office from time to time that isn't right now. Uh, go to the other wing of the library, I guess. Uh, there's that missing cat. Should bring it back to the owner. It's not going to come down, is it? Nothing I can give the cat to get it to. Like a mysterious pill. Well, I can tell the owner that he's in the uh, library, at least. Okay, so we'll continue down here. This person won't talk to me. I bet you've never heard of cyberspace. It's too complicated to explain to a civilian. Well, it isn't really. You're just a bit of an idiot. Cinder block. Let's have a cinder block. We might be able to smash a window with it. But wait, that's not what I meant. Is there anything in the police station? If they're on strike... Hello. If you want to report a crime, have a seat over there. Someone will get you eventually. What seats? There's no seats over there. Alright, so have a seat over there means stand. Have a seat over where? Uh, there's no seats. Let's go in the parking lot, see if there's anything there. The cruisers are no use. Dumpsters blocking the emergency exit. And there's nothing in the trash piles. Okay, so basically we've been everywhere apart from that apartment building i know that i have to go back and tell the guy where his cat is um, so yeah apartment building and then i guess we go home and sleep until the next morning if we don't find anything here right so starting here no answer. Some weird noises in this building. Looking out the window can be depressing. Yeah, probably. A uh, wanted poster with a smirking fella and a notice of a local award given to Beth. Trash. Trash and more trash. Uh, that must be what the maintenance people use to clean. Just nasty discarded debris. That door's locked. I'd need a key to get in. Uh, we've got fuse boxes. But I'm not going to mess around with people's fuse boxes. And the furnace. Where obviously you can you can burn some things, but boxes are new. From Brazil, apparently. Okay, so we've done everything on, on the basement. And we've done everything on the first floor. Up we go, and we'll make our way gradually through the building. Dog faced Derek is wanted again. No answer. No answer. Kyle Black is wanted on charges of assault. I wonder if this time we'll be found guilty. Probably not. Key pouch plastered all over there. Some kind of attack. Snacks and drinks expired. Uh, Bobby Jones is wanted for possession of drugs. Uh, they're obviously not looking very well. I'm not selling anything. Not interested. Go away. Someone should put this sad looking plant outside where it'll get some sunlight. You really realise we've actually not done anything so far. Well, I mean, that's not entirely true. We've found some stuff and maybe... 
maybe this is the way to just clear up some things before we radiator's making a lot of noise graffiti I'm missing the glove lost cat need a job there's that busybody who just sits and stares into space here's apartment 301 this is the guy with the cat I think yay he'll be happy now he can get his cat the cabinet's about to fall off the wall but you know what's this collection of mannequin heads they look strange yeah he won't let me take the fire axe I don't think I need it right now anyway is this must be Beth Couch smells of oriental spices. Book collection Grace would enjoy. I noticed my pension this month's taken a dip. I hope it's not permanent. I'm on the breadline already. I can't go on living like this. Oh yeah, that was just that weird old man that just lets everyone in for no obvious reason. So no, nothing on that apartment. If you're not Joey, go away or you'll be sorry. Can't look at that one on the poster. This is three or four. No answer. Wouldn't answer if I lived here. Advertising a good time. And what they're suggesting is illegal. Yeah, okay. Need to get rid of him somehow. And pour caustic soda on him. Obviously not. That would be bad. Uh, window splintered and cracked. A public service announcement. Run. No, okay. It says to be on the lookout for sewer mold. Lovely. Who's this guy? Sunny, don't end up like this. Look how I'm living. Life is arduous and cruel. In the company, a small black and white TV. Table with a single chair. Yeah, all in all, it's a pretty, pretty depressing town. Uh, he's got a pretty depressing job just seems like you really don't want to be in this uh, place. Now you could sleep on an old mattress, but it stinks. Wait. That... Oh boy, it's sure been a doozy of a day. Who'd have thought it would have been so difficult? There's a guy that offered to watch our moving van. He sure could be use some constructive stern feedback. I guess he needed to borrow it for at least stole it, you fool. My goodness. These people, man. And they intentionally moved to this horrible place. Is that person dead? Hey man, I don't think my girl's feeling so great. We need some cash. I need my fix before I start to crash. Oh my god. No. I hope that that isn't even an option that I can... I wonder why someone boarded that shot. Your girlfriend's dead, mate. There's absolutely nothing here. Okay. There's absolutely nothing here. Oh. I wonder what that does. Okay. I feel like there might be a way we can use that to our advantage. Well, I say that, but then... How would I know who's down there? Yeah, that's the way out now, I think. Yeah, so th there's nothing here. Um, you could drop a block on someone's head. Only there's nobody... There's nobody we can drop a block on, so... I don't see the point in that. Okay, we'll go home, sleep, and then see if that uh, gives us some new things to keep an eye on. Maybe you could get that jogger. Alright, so go home, go to sleep, and then see if there's anything else we can do. I think. It's about the only thing we can do right now, because otherwise, hmm. But if, if I can't, if nothing happens that uh, 
progresses the story, we might just finish up there. Um, I've only been on for like a short time really, um, so we might try something else afterwards if that's the case. I'm hoping it's not because I'd like to try and progress in this game. But we've literally been everywhere now. Everywhere in the game, just so we're clear. I've gone to every location in the game. The only thing I haven't done is this. No, it's too early to go to bed. Well, I don't know what to do then in that case. Let's try going back to work. Maybe by the time we get there it'll be night. But probably not. Let's see. And if not, then at this stage I've exhausted all the all the options, really. And if that's the case, then I guess we'll probably just have to bring this to a close. It's, it's all it's all it's good having a game that's that tries not to be too linear, that that progresses a a story in an interesting sort of way. Uh, and, it, and it is quite an interesting story, I think. You know, I quite like the story of this. Uh, these weird drugs and all the rest of it. But if there's nothing that you can actually do... Yeah, I mean, I can do that and I can go around the back and all the rest of it. But there's, there's nothing... That you can actually do. So his wife's in the thing. Right, give me one moment. Let me just let me just check one thing. So I just feel like I'm, I'm clearly missing something. Like, clearly missing something. But, it, see, this thing, there are no... There's one guide that someone's created, and it's a bare-bones kind of walkthrough. Hmm... Yeah, I can't collect the six keys, so just check something. Yeah, nothing. The only guide I have is one that doesn't actually really help. But I don't I mean, okay. Okay, so there we go. Okay. Sorry, I'm just I'm just kind of taking a look through something just to to work out what exactly. Doesn't help me. Let me just try something. There's a lot to this. Um, okay, so I offered her, I gave her the tablets. I declined the affair. Clean the bar and rock and energy. Hmm. 
Yeah, that was what we did. Go to the item now. Uh, we've lied to... Ooh. Okay, here we go. Shell, shape shell. Uh, we did that. We got an alarm for one over two, with a meeting in one. Went to the medical ward. Yeah, that that's what we're supposed to do, but we can't. Apparently we're supposed to enter the medical ward and speak to his wife, but when we tried, when we were there earlier, you can't actually get in and talk to her. Uh, let's try it. So it's on the fourth floor, wasn't it? Apparently. Not there. That is literally the only thing I can think to do in the game, you know, I mean, I just don't know. I wonder about something. I always do that, I always go to that door. I'm gonna just try something, going in without going through the gate. I don't think that will make any difference, but I'm just interested to try that. Like maybe that somehow does something differently so yeah, into the medical ward. Uh, one sec. Into the medical ward. Oh, here we go. Henry, your wife's in good hands here. All her vitals are looking good. I will sure make sure she's comfortable. As you can see, she's been kept company by our little lab mascot, Billy the Cat. Don't worry, he's always on his best behaviour. He figured out a long time ago that as long as he behaves, he gets enough treats to grow fat. If there's anything you need, anything at all, come see me. I'll be right here with Grace until my shift ends. Don't worry, we'll make sure the nightmares go away and she'll be able to catch up on some rest. Let's talk to her. How are you feeling? I know you're not a huge fan of hospitals. Your breathing's pretty rapid. Have you given anything to help you relax? She's not talking to me. She is not talking to me. Okay, well, there's nothing else here. Okay, so that's all we can do right now. Um, let me just... No, I can't talk to her. Oh, just did one of those weird random words. And they're all surrounding her now. What's she saying? I can't understand a word. It sounds a bit like Aramaic. But that can't be the case. No, no, no. It sounds like something from the Far East. Mongolian, perhaps? Like something out of a horror movie where someone gets possessed by the devil. Should we contact a priest? Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. She's just rambling as a result of lack of sleep. No, she's not. Henry, we'll take care of this. Don't you worry about the thing. Go on and catch up on some rest yourself. We'll administer sedatives and have ordered a full blood test to be carried out. I get the feeling we're not far away from the end now, actually. And, you know, we could have done that as soon as we started. Why can't I get out? Oh, I thought I'd gone through that door. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so we could have done that right at the beginning. And we'd have probably been finished pretty quickly, to be fair. So, okay, time to go home. I don't know if doing what I did with these offices made any difference either. It probably didn't. I'm pretty sure it didn't, to be honest. Um, I think we can't be far from the end of things then. I think something bad's going to happen uh, in the uh, in the office building. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I mean, I needed to use a bit of a guide there, didn't I? Although, I mean, it only took me a couple of minutes. I always hate the idea, you know, that I'm going to go and look for something in a guide and it's going to take me the rest of the the rest of the stream to actually find any useful information but now we can go home uh, and get quite close I think to finishing things off I would expect given I've read that there are multiple endings to this game 
I would expect I'm probably not going to get a good one. Just, you know, and I'm hoping it doesn't involve what I think it involves, which is probably going to be her killing everybody. Let's hope not. Let's hope not. We'll get a phone call that she's gone crazy and she's ripping things apart. That the lab cat's no longer alive. All these things are crossing my mind and none of them are good. The place feels empty when Grace isn't here. Back to go up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire. I hate that phrase, I don't know why I used it. Right, so we're going to have a sleep, wake up the next morning. Well, first we'll probably have some kind of vision, I'm sure. Here's these two little kids. It's nearly time, Henry. Time to say goodbye again. Goodbye to who? Find all the keys, Henry. Find your way out. Well, I'm too late to find the keys. From what I understand, the, the keys, having read a, something while I was looking for a guide... Uh, there are some of them that I never found. Goodbye, Daddy, be brave. Hmm. Something tells me we're not going to be enjoying the way things go. So I assume we just go back now then and see what's happened while she's been see what's happened while she's been sleeping there maybe they've decided that the uh, medication isn't worth the trouble I would suggest that that's probably not a bad idea but let's find out no I just I, I couldn't help but notice the fact that uh, the guide seems to end at the section which actually told me what I needed to do so I'm assuming when I go back to work that will have some kind of ending. Whether it's good or not, who knows. Going to be honest, I'm pretty sure it's not. Well, I think the good ending, you need to find all the keys. The best ending, I don't know. And I didn't do that, so... Run for your lives! What the hell was that thing? What what was what was what thing? Why am I going in here? I should just run for my life, shouldn't I? Um Whoa Hope Dawn's alright. More blood. What in the world is that? Smells rancid. Uh, let's go up. Got a bad feeling about it, but let's go up and see what's going down. Well, so far this floor seems okay. No, it doesn't. Oh my goodness. He's half the man he used to be. Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't resist that joke, really, you know. Hey, I wonder if that office is open yet. Nah. No. Right, well, we're about to find out what's gone on in here. Oh, my word. Oh, hello, Henry. Henry. Oh, my goodness. What's that voice about? Hello. Kick him in the face. What's happened? I wonder if you'll tell me anything. No. I wonder what's happening in the offices. Nothing. I love that. I don't know if you can hear the uh, the music, but it's like a jazz. It's like a smooth kind of jazzy sound. While everyone's been ripped to shreds. And I'm guessing, as I say, oh, everyone floats down here. Look. Excuse. Me. What in the world is that? She's eating the cat. Head explode. It is, it scanners the game. Grace? He's a scanner. She's a scanner. She's blowing up heads. Good news is she's not like she's not sick anymore. Oh, what's this? 
I'm floating. What's going on? God help me, please. All hope is gone. I agree. All hope does appear to be gone. You realize you're not walking, right? Uh oh. Here she is. Curse these tablets. What is that I've done? I only want to make you better. He said that every time we meet, my beloved soulmate, fate is what brought us together from our very first date. We were destined for this, and you've set me free by your actions. The apocalypse now resides within me. Your reward is your own damnation, one that's set apart. A personal hell just for you because of your hatred for all art. A world where every utterance for the rest of all time is spoken by you and those around you completely in rhyme. You will live and you will die, and your last days will forever repeat. Groundhog Day for billions of years until the sun stops giving off heat. We've been dancing for a million years and still you never learn. Greed and selfish aspirations guiding you at every turn. Just remember this, my beloved one, your fate's an impossible one to bend. For over a million years I've told you your beginning is the same as your end. Pop. Heads are popping. Heads are popping. There we go. So that is I Fell From Grace. Produced by Deep Tiger. Uh, and yeah. I thought that was quite a good game. Um, obviously there are multiple ways you can finish the game. If you find all those keys, uh, apparently you get the best possible ending. Uh, which I didn't do. Um, which means it's not maybe the best route we've taken through the game. But that's fine. Uh, we've still managed to enjoy what we were doing. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have... Please feel free to tune in next time. Uh, keep an eye on my Twitter page. It's twitter.com slash supernautus. Uh, there is where I will announce whenever I go live. Um, if you're wanting to see my previous streams and all my streams uh, from before, including this one and everything else, uh, you can head over to YouTube, search for Supernautus Streams, and there you'll see all my previous videos as well. Uh, we did play... Um, well, see, we're back at the beginning again. Uh, I did play... Uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint the day before yesterday um, when I went to download the video and, up and put it onto YouTube I found that I had uh, well I knew that I had during the stream I turned the volume down too low on the mic and nobody could hear me yeah uh, until about probably about three quarters of the way through the video so I'm not going to upload that one uh, but I'll probably upload the next uh, one hopefully I uh, hope you've enjoyed this game. As I say, if you have and you're on YouTube, you're on Mixer. If you're on Mixer, please feel free to add a follow if you like. Uh, if you're on YouTube, um, you can click like on the video, uh, subscribe too if you want, and of course hit that notification bell to let you know when I upload more. Uh, for now though, thanks very much guys, and I will see you all next time. Good night.